And welcome, everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Riven Katarina. That's right, we're going to be playing some Katarina. This deck here is going to be a Demacia deck, even though both of our champions are from Noxus. And we're going to be a Demacia deck that has the new Demacia landmark, the Grand Plaza. Because it's landmark day, and we're trying out the new landmarks this time, Grand Plaza. So this, whenever an ally is summoned, you give it plus one, plus one, and a challenger this round. Now, if you're watching the games from yesterday, you may have noticed that whenever we played against the Grand Plaza, our opponent played the Grand Plaza into Grizzled Ranger, and that was a ridiculous combo. And we're going to have that in here, too. Because, of course, the Grizzled Ranger turns into a 4-2 Challenger with Scout. Attack something. You kill your Grizzled Ranger. And then you get the 3-4. But, of course, this is summoned. Not cast. Summoned. So the 3-4 then get, turns into a 4-5 with Challenger that same turn. An amazing combo. But we're also going to be uh, you know, playing that with, with just some other good aggressive stuff. Including our champion. So we got Katarina in here. Now Katarina, of course, um, playing Katarina... Uh, whenever you have like your leveled up, you uh, you play it, it strikes, you re you recall it, and uh, then you can play it again. Uh, you rally, get to attack again, and continue on. Now with the Grand Plaza in play, you would give Katarina plus one plus one and Challenger. So Katarina, a level up Katarina is a five power quick attack Challenger, and so you basically get to have like you know four mana, deal five damage to different things, and you get to keep on. Uh, playing Katarina challenge put Katarina back into your hand and so on pretty awesome combo with Grand Plaza and Katarina a way to wipe their board um, At the top of it, we got we got two great horn companion in here Which is pretty awesome another card that's amazing with Grand Plaza because again You can make this turn this into a 6-6 six, six scout with challenger So basically you get to build a, an even better Genevieve Elmhart You know how Genevieve was a five, six mana five five scout challenger and that was too good. They nerfed Genevieve well, now you can have an even better one. You you flip those. Instead of being a 6-mana 5-5, five, five, you got a 5-mana 6-6 six, six when you have a Grand Plaza in play. Um, so that's that's pretty amazing. So, you know, getting a couple of those scouts in with the Grand Plaza. And then, you know, like Riven. Uh, Riven will do its thing, create all these swords, that, uh, all these blades, these uh, blade fragments and everything. That That's something that's really good to use your spell mana on. Um Early game, we have like Crimson Curator that we can, you know, turn into a 4-4 Challenger and strike, you know, strike something, keep our Crimson Curator alive, and then start making these other things that are more uh, good, cheap Challengers. Um, Crimson Curator looks awesome with the Grand Plaza. Um, Egghead Researcher, you know, you just use that like a 2-4 Challenger, also make another Dragon so you don't run out of gas. Crimson Disciple being a 2-mana 3-4 Challenger, like that's, that's really strong. Like, all these cards are really strong with the Grand Plaza. Of course, the Iron Blessed being the 5-4 Overwhelm. So that's our deck. We're going to see how we do with Riven Katarina. We'll go play our five games in Ranked. See if we go 3-2 and better. If we go 3-2, and two, then we'll have a, a perfect 500 day. Uh, maybe we'll even do a better than that as well. All right, looks like we're playing against the deck that we just got done playing with Aurelian Soul Leona. That deck's very strong. Now, I really want the... I really want the, the landmark. I want the landmark, I want champions. So this is difficult. Like, this is a really good curve, right? One, two, three, four. But I kind of want to mulligan stuff and look for the landmark and the champions. Now I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna be kind of greedy. Cool. Raise your weapon, Sunwood. Why does this card? Why is it like silver instead of gold? Is it because it's a common? It has like a silver border. I'm, I'm ready. Is that why? Yeah. So it's, it's the prismatic card, but I thought I thought prismatic gave gave them gold borders, but they don't have. So gold's only on champs, and everything else is silver. Well, that's kind of... That's kind of meh. That they have different... The different color borders. I thought, like, the... Like, that's kind of the point to, like, prismatic everything, so you can have, like... I guess necessarily everything would be, like, silver borders, and then you just have your gold borders with your champions. Bask in her radiant blessing. 
Yeah, yeah, they could get the um, the card that obliterates my plaza. I really hope not, obviously. Everyone bleeds for the right prize. The strength of the sun and my faith are one. I'm something of an aspiring trichologist. So I want to do Katarina, I think. But I don't want them to go like I play Katarina, they play Leona. Our strength is forever at its zenith. Blessed daylight surrounds you. Follow the tracks. I'd kind of rather kill the Robin. This might hurt. What a specimen. Man, that's pretty awesome. Ha, they'll never know what killed them. Challenger is... <laughs> Challenger is so good. <sighs> that was pretty awesome. They're passing over to me. Don't think we take the pass, though. Behold the divine... The power of the immortal sun. Behold the sun's holy light. Channel our power! How bothersome. Mm. I'll turn this into five. Yeah, maybe we turn that into five. Okay. I found my family, my bloodkin. The bloodier the better. It's nothing personal. Of course, we can get another attack with the Katarina. But I kind of want to see what they do. Those both into one health. That's fine. My friend. No going back. They can't play a daybreak card anymore. The bloodier the better. Yeah, Plaza Katarina is pretty nice. But of course, you know, like, are they gonna just, like, you know, play big dragons and uh, kill us with some dragons? Unclear. It's a possibility. The pass is very tempting. Cool, no hush. That's good. Got that eclipse dragon gone. Ours is the one true light. Another grand plaza. Devotion to battle. Let the blood shed begin. Unbelievers will see the light. 
Yeah, it makes sense to play this. So I have the, like the single combat kind of protects the Katarina because if they use like a removal spell on the Katarina, then I can single combat and kill one of these things and put the Katarina back on my hand. I'll follow where I can. They're afraid. They should. Fury and Scout. That seems pretty awesome. Your favorite star. I created it. Take down the Aurelian Soul. Alright, kind of starting over. We still have the, the cat, you know, the, we still have this Katarina with the plazas, but I don't really have any protection for the Katarina now. I'm worried about like the I'm worried about the the Aurelian Soul grabbing the nine mana in invoke card that exiles two things. I'm worried about that. Like that's that's what I think that they have here. Oh, I can't wait. And they had it. So good call not to play the Katarina. Ah, Pill Cascade. I still have I still have seven damage here, I guess. So if they don't have anything that costs two or less mana, darn, they did. But at least I didn't get my Katarina obliterated, so that's good. What? They're just playing that card, I guess. I love this Greyhorn Companion. That's, that's an amazing draw. So let's grab the attack token, see if they like spend like six mana, obliterate my Katarina, and then I go Greyhorn Companion for the win. I fight for the fallen. Radiant Guardian. Yeah, I mean, I, I gotta play this. That didn't work out the best for me though. They get okay. They're gonna do that. If they challenge my Katarina and they and, and they have Pale Cascade, then I would lose. Or not, I wouldn't lose, you know, but I wouldn't win this turn.
All right, well, they got rid of my Katarina. That was their dying wish. But that was pretty awesome, Katarina with the Grand Plaza. That was really cool, because, you know, like, we played against, you know, really in Soul, Infinite Mind Splitter, Eclipse Dragon. You know, they had all that kind of stuff. Leona, Robin. That is not easy for a little Demacia Noxus deck to fight through. And we fought through Started. it. Victor Zoe. Yeah, Plaza with Katarina looks really cool. That was that was awesome. All right, we have our Riven. It's Mulligan's Ballista. I think I want to keep the Rangers Resolve to protect Riven in single combat to kill stuff. Sharp Sight, good too. But you know, like the Ballista is just interchangeable with a million different other cards in our deck. And, you know, it's not like Plaza, right? Like, Plaza is like the card that we want to see more than any other. They're playing Victor and Zoe. Bask in her radiant blessing. I could sharp sight and block that thing, but, you know, it's a 1-2. I'm not, it's not worth the sharp sight right now. Quick attack. Yeah, yeah, I'm up. I've become who I was always meant to be. Here we go. We gain the attack token with the scout. So we get another um, blade fragment. Yeah, so don't. Yeah, so the the single combat would have been nice to keep against Zoe. Or sorry, sorry, the, the sharp sight would have been nice to keep against Zoe and like these elusives. But I still had the single combat, and you know we have Katarina that could do one damage to like a Zoe. We found a Grand Plaza, which is a great. But looks like I am. Looks like I'm gonna have my Riven die. It's unfortunate. But that's how life is. Alright, let's mess some folks up. I suppose. Go get him, Grizzled Ranger. I really don't know why that one two is not blocking. My three, you know, I do, I do not know why that thing's not blocking my Grizzled Ranger. I guess that's maybe just not a bad trade for me. All right, I have this whole quick attack thing. I forgot about that. Here we go. That's worth it. How is the sparkle fly just never blocking? <laughs> like, what are, what, are, what are they expecting the sparkle fly to do? Flesh is a weakness we must shed. Everyone bleeds for the right prize. I don't get the attack token this turn, but I'm still going to be playing the Katarina this turn so that I can replay it the next turn. Yeah. Calm mind and open heart greet the night. Yeah. I guess. This probably works. Sweet. He even didn't have the backup Katarina in hand. You know, I have like the Ranger's Resolve for protection and the backup Katarina. 
All right, GG's. There we go. We're going to have a lot of attacks that turn. Yeah, link, link to the deck right there. And you can copy the code from there. Okay. Looks like we're playing against the same kind of deck. We want the same kind of cards. All those cards are just kind of interchangeable. Grand Plaza, there we go. We want our champions, we want Grand Plaza. And you know, I don't have like a one or a two drop. But we are like a control deck, basically. It's a super cool star chart. Alright, I can play that and keep my two spell mana for sharp sight. I wanted to keep two spell mana for sharp for sharp sight. So I didn't want to play Egghead Researcher. So this allows me to play Plaza on three. Grizzled Ranger on four with the attack token. On five, I could go Researcher and Ballista. Not attacking with Zoe. I won't back down. So to be fair, the uh, attack with Zoe, you're not getting anything super cool. You're just re you're just um, reducing the cost of your super cool star chart by one. Maybe they didn't envision that being worth the risk of Zoe dying because sharp sight is obviously a card that every single Demacia deck plays so it's not like it's not like they're watching the stream like oh I know there's not sharp sight it's like sharp sight's always there all right stunned Another Grand Plaza. That's awesome. And that's good they didn't don't have Equinox. Right? Equinox is the card that I was scared of with the Witness perfection. Crystal Ranger. Mm, how much do I need to play defense? I mean I guess we're gonna be we're gonna be creating another thing anyway. But this thing has a 3-5 challenger, is pretty nice. If they Equinox Grizzled Ranger and then I fight, will it still be all Equinoxed and everything? Bad attack. Yeah, I know the fast goes first, but I'm just wondering. So, like, the Grizzled Ranger would die, but I'm wondering if the Equinox would then hit the Loyal Badger Bear. I guess it wouldn't really matter if it did or not, though. But I, I wouldn't, I wouldn't think it would, but I'm not really exactly sure. Can you improve perfection? Join me if you want to live. Oh, I can't wait. Two mana, four five challenger. That whenever it survives damage, deal one to the enemy nexus. That's pretty cool. There's always at seven out of ten. System upgrade. Now eight out of ten. Ideally, I want to play this iron ballista as well. Nine. Ten. Oh, well, I guess they're all just elusive life steals now. Delicious. I suppose. 
Okay. Let's definitely go you and you and you. Remember, Zoe's is for the rest of the game. So Zoe doesn't need to stay on, like, doesn't need to stay in play. Anything they play, like, if they, if they play something with a new keyword, it will grant these new things new, the new keywords. ones or you know, like a one one and a one two all right so that should give them an, a sharp sight which sharp sight doesn't save either of their things it does you know all that does is just kill my Still trade. <laughs> Never mind. Not trading. Oh, this hurts. But we got infinite mind splitter for next turn. I'll take down Zoe. Or I could play Riven to take down Zoe. Probably makes more sense to play Infinite Mind Splitter. I don't know. We'll attack with this first. See what's up. So I guess I do not attack with my other things. Because that allows them to block with these things that, that theoretically should be stunned the rest of the game. But then also, theoretically, I do kind of need the room. I can replace 1-1 one, one Egghead Researcher just fine. Whoa, that's not good. That is not good. So they have nine mana and nine cards. That is scary. So they have four mana left. We want to play stuff on our turn, of course, with these plazas. Still four mana left. Three mana left. Six cards. So they made one of their celestial cards cost one less. So it's probably the the three the four mana three four that invokes. That's you know I'm getting kind of thinking of worst case scenario. I really don't want my Grizzled Ranger to die right here. So I, I want to single combat the Serpent and, and keep my Grizzled Ranger from dying. I guess we're going to let the Grizzled, Grizzled Ranger die, I guess. I'm just going to do this. So that was the card that they used the make cost one less card on. I 
I'm my family, my blood kin. Daylight warms the heart and lights the way. All right, we get some more, some more challengers. This journey is a discovery. A conflict awaits. Well, Harvey's quiet now, but now it's puppy growling. Um. Okay. So let's see. We're going to challenge. Challenge. I guess it's a one two is better. I need to clear a space anyway, so like the three one trading isn't like the the worst thing for me. I don't really know why they would trade with that and not the Solari Priestess. That doesn't really make any sense. Okay, another ribbon. Well, the good news with that means that this probably isn't something like super scary that they like. Okay, so, like we know one thing is the four through six mana celestial. It's that. Okay, yeah, so it's just another Lisa three, six, seven, eight. So right now they're at eight mana. Or like eight power. They go down to two. Wow. Really? <laughs> so they're two they drew Pale Cascade into Mystic Shot? Wow. No. Yeah, I guess I guess we can lose. Alright, playing against some ramp. Playing against some field of rush. Yeah, let's mulligan the rest of these. Single combat's like good against like weirding stones, right? But that's kind of meh. I wanted to find a plaza. There we go. Which plaza is also good against weirding stones? But they will have a turn of five mana. Voices of the old ones. So much ramp. So much ramp. All right, they can still have. Oh, I guess. Yeah. Okay. Never mind. Katarina doesn't die to avalanche, so that's good. I'll try anyone. Should be attacking with this first. This will take the chill off. Hmm. Only fools hesitate. Delicious. My turn. Let's talk about your dad. Why am I not playing another three drop first? What? I always forget that I can't play. I can't play another Katarina right now. I should be playing another three drop first. They'll never know what kills. Okay. Well, good thing we had that thing available for the Katarina.
Yeah, I probably should have played another three drop though. Do I have seven mana. The trolls are going to war. Katarina plus a three. Grizzled Ranger is so great with with Plaza Guardian with the Grand Plaza. Oh, it's great. Here we go. Just hoping for not a Frostbite spell. Troll Chance fine. Will of Ionia is fine. Stalking Shadows Reforge deck. Probably pretty awesome. I've been very impressed with the Reforge stuff so far. Like they're just going to block here. It's not like we're going to really have a choice. Um, so yeah, I think I think there's a lot of good potential there. Okay, let's see. Here we go. Delicious. It is lethal. That's five there. One, one, and you know they're at five. That's five, but then we have one overwhelm damage coming in. So doing, playing the Ranger's Resolve to keep this loyal Badger Bear alive so I can challenge with it again. All right, there we go, that'll do. Then we play Katarina, attack again. Man, Grand Plaza with Grizzled Ranger is so good. Oh, that's good. And with Katarina also. Cool, yeah, y'all are saying that this is this deck looks really fun to pilot. Yeah, I agree. This this has been a lot of fun now. Uh, go hard. It's going to be a little bit trickier. All right, so we're definitely keeping Ranger's Resolve. I guess we just keep all of these. We'll keep the Katarina. All right, let's look for the Plaza. The Plaza's awesome. Come on, Plaza. No. First thing I saw was the three cost, and I got excited and then realized it was Crimson Curator. Plaza? No, another three cost card. Come closer. I don't bite. Yes, you do. Sweet. You won't suffer long. How bothersome. So young. Plaza? Plaza. Curator or Ballista? Hello. Explore. Play the Ballista that attacks for a little more, and I got I got the double Ballista. Are y'all see Curator? I kind of like saving the Curator. Like, maybe we draw the Plaza. The Plaza plus the Curator is pretty awesome. Take, like, this Overwhelm. Muted. Yeah, that's true. They're gonna heal the overwhelm damage. Be nothing left when I'm done. That could happen. I found my family, my blood kin. Played out the Dreadway deckhand with no go hard, no 
damage base source or anything whenever I have this overwhelm unit. What am I doing? I meant to do this. That's what I meant to do. Okay. Best run while you can. Well. So if I do Ranger's Resolve, I have to do like Ranger's Resolve and Sharp Sight. Ranger's Resolve, they take one damage. Yeah, so Curator takes one damage twice. Basically, go infinite with these aristocrats. Try to understand. I matter, you don't. Okay, okay. So now, what are we doing? Can we draw the plaza? I want to play Sharp Sight. I wanted to block Sprayfin with Sharp Sight. And so then I couldn't. So if I if I do that, I wouldn't be able to play Inviola's Fox or Kato the Arm. It's a good attack. Not the egg. Oh please. But I'm rich. Your name, but I don't care. So the most likely thing outcome is they just drew a go hard, and so the go hard was going to kill my seven one anyway. So I guess they have withering whale. So that's telling us they have like Withering Will or Vile Feast, right? Like that's the only reason to do that on the Katarina, which makes me want to play other things before attacking. But then of course playing something else before attacking does turn on Gohard. We're gonna play the Kato, or we have the Might also with the Kato. Yeah, so it's Withering Will. That's too bad. That's a great withering whale. Hmm. Wish I had there. Wish I had another ranger's resolve. Yeah. I'll burn for all I've done. Okay, good. Another Katarina. Gotta go with the flow. The pleasure to see you too, Madeira. So they played two go hard so far. No place for the kind. Hmm. That can be number three and number four for pack your bags. Oh, they played three. Never mind. Katarina plus replay Katarina is 7 mana. Can't do that and play anything else if I want an additional attack. So I'm not going to get an additional attack this turn. I think my plan is Great Horn Companion Might. 
I think that's my best plan. So I'm going to have the Katarina as some bait or like removal or something first. Waste of a go hard. Put it on something else. Say your farewells. Love it. Man, this is one damage away from killing them. One damage away from killing them. Yeah, the blade's edge puts it to one. Like this, this attack puts them to two. The blade's edge puts them to one. Ha, they'll never know what kills. I don't think we missed a ping earlier. Oh, Blade's Edge fleeted away, but I, I mean, I needed, I needed that, that spell mana. Though, I think. So I have the Iron Ballista and Crimson Curator. I can play. Yeah, I guess Disciple would be better to play than the Curator. There we go. Four and one. What a game. Man, what a deck. What a deck. Katarina carried a lot of games. Katarina was incredible for us. For sure. Katarina with Grand Plaza was incredible. Grizzled Ranger with Grand Plaza was incredible. Um, that was a lot of fun to play. Playing those things together. Um, and then, you know, like we had just kind of a smattering of, of just, you know, like other cards that were fine and okay and stuff but like like great horn companion was cool like this this was just cool it's like you know like the 6-6 six, six scout challenger like that that was like pretty cool the kato you know get, gave that overwhelm um the crimson curator making like those other crimson units like that was pretty cool because more more units like okay a lot of times playing crimson curator decks you'll like you'll play curator and then like in the you know and and uh even if you do your thing with your curator like in the late game you just create more like crimson disciples and crimson aristocrats and crimson curators and you're like well these these things don't really do very much like in in you know like the later turns of a game but whenever you're playing those with the grand plaza that gives them plus one plus one and challenger suddenly what you're doing is you're creating you know, two mana, three, four challengers that survive deal of damage. Two mana, three, three challengers that also can give something else plus two, plus zero. You know, three mana, four, four challenger. And suddenly, like, all those challengers that you're creating, or, you know, like, this this big thing being a challenger, challengers are much more valuable because you can use those as removal and everything. So Crimson Curator works, you know, has a much higher ceiling with the Grand Plaza than it normally and then kind of the same thing with like your egghead researcher, you know, you're like, ah, oh, this is just like a 1-3, especially if you play like a 1-3 later, it doesn't do anything. Well, how about making it a 2-4 challenger? We did that plenty of times. We did we did that a couple of times with the, with egghead researchers killing other smaller units from our opponent. Um, when we had, we had two grand plazas in play and then played egghead researcher as a two mana 3-5 challenger, it took out, you know, like a 3-3. Three, three. That's pretty awesome. So yeah, definitely love grand plaza. Love it with Katarina, Grizzled Ranger, all this other stuff. That was really cool. Riven, honestly, Riven didn't really do anything for us. <laughs> you know, like, so, like, maybe another cha champion. Um, but Riven is very large, you know, for for three mana, getting a 3-4. Um, but we, we really didn't do anything with, like, Riven and, like, all this blades and stuff like that. So, I, but, but then again, I think Riven's pretty good. But you could have, you know, you could try the same kind of deck with Shivana and Garen. And like, all these champions are awesome. And they're all awesome with the Grand Plaza. You know, like Garen, of course, being re having regeneration and challenger. 
that sounds pretty amazing. Maybe Garen would fit better than Riven, but you you do want you do like the thing is you don't want to have like a ton of like expensive cards. You can see like our top end isn't very much. Be the reason why you don't want like a ton of expensive cards is because Katarina is your way to use um, a whole lot of mana. And so you do want cheaper cards and you want, you know, like cheaper cards with the challenger and things like that. But, um, so I was happy with Riven. I'd probably keep Riven in here. I was just saying that if, if you, you know, at home want to play a different champion, you can over the Riven. But, um, you know, if you could ever get the Blade of the Exile, that would probably be pretty cool. But there we go. So that's Riven Katarina. Those y'all watching later on YouTube, hit that like button over there. And of course, leave those comments as well. I would appreciate that. But thank you so much for watching and I'll see you for the next video.